Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are on 11.4.8.1. I just got this update last night and I've installed it and uh, I've driven my commute to work today. Nothing much really has changed. I think a little bit on the highway with uh, lane selection. It is a little bit earlier than the usual, which is which is pretty good to be honest. But uh, other than that, I'll need to do some more driving with it to test it out. So I put up a poll to see what you guys want to see. And one of the latest one is, uh, I mean, the most uh, option that one is the merging. So merging and residential road, these are like residential roads, but they are a little bit of a higher speed than the usual. Uh, you can see over here, it tends to do this turn very nice. Um, now, when there are cars coming in from our left-hand side, it doesn't merge properly, and you can see the signal still on to the right, and it gets kind of confused here, and gets pushed out to the lane. So, there you go. Not a very good, not a very good scenario over here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disengage and uh, circle around, and then uh, I'll do this again. But, uh, but yeah, that wasn't really good, and that that is honestly how it is for the for the longest time so ever since I had probably version 10 even it goes back all the way there but uh, but yeah like it's not the worst thing but when you have a lot of traffic coming in on your left hand side and I'll try to replicate that uh, that's where it gets a little bit um, you know concerning because you might get into a collision with a car because it, the car can't manage to do its merge properly and it indicates to the right so and it doesn't indicate the right way so it, it basically it's very it's very um, um, it needs a lot of work there in that uh, in that situation so I'll redo this turn again and I'll uh, speed you guys back up Okay, so here we are. I just uh, took us around in a circle to redo these turns. So I'm gonna do one turn over here and then we're gonna get to the same turn that I tried again. And uh, yeah, these are basically yields with merges. A little bit of a braking there, just a precautionary one for that vehicle coming in on the right-hand side. Now it gets a little bit confused here with the stop bus. Slows down quite a bit. I'm not really happy with the slowdown over here. There's a vehicle behind me that's, um, that's confused with what I'm doing, as, as always with FSD. And yeah, so we've got to slow down here with the yield. There's no traffic on the left. This is a merge sign. Again, the same thing happens. You've got an indicator that shows to the right as we are merging to the left, which is confusing to traffic around us. So this one's a little bit of a tighter kind of merge and yield situation. So that's, uh, you know, that could be, that would work a little bit better with FSD but the the other one that we're gonna get into and the first one we tested and I showed you guys that's the one that's a little bit wide so it gets FSD gets very confused over there so let's try again and hopefully this time we'll have some cross traffic that we have to merge in I'm almost thinking I might time it too just cuz there's not much traffic at this time I might be able to slow down I can see some cross traffic coming in and then you can see that how it shows in the visual it takes a long time for it to get into the merging or the turning lane over here uh, un unfortunately we don't have any cross traffic right now and uh, yeah and it doesn't seem like we have any cars coming up soon so you can see again it thinks it's a lane but it's a merging lane it does show and it gets very close to that to that curb over there on the right, almost hitting it. And then if there's any debris over there, it's picking that up as well. Um, so yeah, not very good. All right, so there is a yield coming up over here as well, close by to my area where um, it does it, it does it very well actually, but uh, sometimes it doesn't do well. And then there's another uh, stop uh, three-way stop sign that I also the car does get confused at. And if you folks like this video, please hit like, and if this shows you a little bit of a glimpse of FSD and gives you a better um, decision on buying FSD, please go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel for more videos if you are watching FSD and seeing how it acts in Canada. 
I also do a lot of FSD videos in winter. Uh, obviously now it is winter, but we haven't gotten much snow, uh, which is a very weird uh, situation for Calgary and Alberta. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll get some snow and I'll do some snow videos coming up soon. Does see the 60 sign and then speeds up to it. Uh, this road is 60 right from the beginning of that turn, so it um, the only issue is that it drives at 50 until it sees the sign and then speeds up to 60. So we're coming up close to the yield situation over here. Our uh, yield scenario. Let's see how much of a drop we're doing. So we're doing 50 and it does it very seamlessly. So it slows down seamlessly to 30 and it uh, picks up the speed as it does the turn and checks for traffic very quick. That was actually one of the best uh, outcomes out of that scenario in this, uh, from, from this yield. Normally it slows down quite a lot until it comes to almost a complete stop. Nice, it doesn't really get confused. Okay, so there we go. We've got a, a false indicator over there. It gets confused a little bit in that intersection over there where it thinks it might be uh, turning on the left a little bit, but uh, it's just a straight, straight ahead road. So I don't know why it does that. But uh, that was also a really good outcome because most of the times I would see the car acting very weird in, in that intersection. So that was a, that was a good outcome. Um, based on uh, historical uh, drives. Let's see how it acts over here on the stop, the three-way stop. It does come to a complete stop, wait till zero, and then straight ahead. That, that was really good, so it was a um, quick takeoff there, and uh, not too confusing for other traffic. Granted, it is a little bit um, quiet right now uh, and I'll fast for you forward you here actually after the stop sign that we get to uh, there's another stop sign that is um, uh, on a four-way intersection but it's actually one stop on on one side only and that gets uh, FSD quite confused as well uh, once we do that one I'll take you to another three-way um, intersection where there's a stop sign as well and uh, it does act a little bit weird there uh, versus historically when it uh, in the previous versions it doesn't actually act very weird which is weird because and we've seen this in version 11 we get a lot of regressions as uh, we get more updates unfortunately which is not the case as it was in version 10 where we used to get a lot of improvements as we got deeper into version 10 which makes me a little bit nervous with version 12 uh, since version 12 is going to be completely end-to-end -end, which means it could be we could see a lot of variance here so it creeps a little bit forward you see that that the hesitation in the middle of the intersection so that's one of the things that i've been starting to get the uh, last few versions it's, i've been seeing it and um unfortunately it's a, not a very good uh, behavior to have so i'll fast forward you here to the next three-way stop that i would like to show you so here we go, we're coming into this uh, three-way stop over here, or actually a three-way intersection, but with only one stop sign. So the stop sign is on our, our side. So it kind of does a similar to what happened right now with the uh, previous intersection that we just saw. It kind of gets a little bit confused getting into the intersection, and sometimes it actually starts attempting to drive ahead, and there's no, no place to drive ahead. I'll maximize the screen over here. So we'll come to a stop here. And usually over here we get a lot of uh, high speed cross traffic too. The creep is kind of very deep into the intersections. That's just because of the, and you can see that with, this, with, the, with the steering wheel over here. It kind of wants to get off and then it stops and then turns a little bit to the right. And, and that is scary because, um, so a couple of things because if you have a cross traffic car that is uh, coming in from the from one of the either one of the sides and you're starting to do that um, You you have limited time at that at that case 
um, so we need to take off and we need to go fast at that time and the other point is that uh, it confuses the drivers behind you because some drivers want to take a left and if they see you um, uh, hesitating then they kind of get confused so this is uh, this is mostly where we're at and this has been going on for me um, for a while now in version 11 and um, to be honest the beginning of version 11 looked very promising like we were able to see or you know uh, we we thought that we could get to a better state than what we are but it kind of plateaued and that's where we are at and uh, unfortunately also um, unfortunately as well we don't um, you know we're just stalling right now and waiting for version 12 and um, yeah so that's what's going on and uh, I uh, hope you folks like this video if you want to suggest to you know watch any other videos and any other merges or, or situations that you want to see I know some folks want to see the highway merge situation it's kind of similar to the residential merge situation but uh, but yeah it's a scenario it's kind of similar but uh, just on a higher speed and more dangerous <laughs> so yeah there we go all right folks hope you folks have a nice one and we'll see you in the next one have a nice day.